as automakers search for what's next in propulsion systems. All electric vehicle operation seems to be the next step for several of them. I recently had the chance to drive Nissan's latest EV prototype in the guise of an all-electric cube. Nissan has been playing with electric vehicles now for over a decade, but now we're actually on the verge of seeing one at a dealership. Nissan is targeting a launch for an EV to you and me sometime around 2012, and here's what we know so far. It will seat five passengers. It won't have any tailpipe emissions. It will charge in less time than a night's sleep, even faster with an optional charging upgrade. It can go 100 miles on a single charge. It will have advanced airbags, premium audio, Navi, etc. It will use an advanced lithium-ion battery, and it will be eligible for a $7,500 federal tax credit plus other potential state and or local incentives. And keep in mind, it won't be priced at a premium. Not a bad resume. Nissan also said they have plans in the works for a nationwide network of charging stations, including fast food restaurants with quick chargers while you eat. Nissan is also considering rolling the cost of the necessary electric work at your home into the selling price. You, you, there is a charge for the charger, yes. Uh, we're still de determining the business model, whether we just roll it into the price of the vehicle or you, you're buying it from a third party or utility company. I wasn't allowed to take the EV out on public roads, or even open the hood for that matter, but in a short test course, this Cube impressed with its energetic acceleration and mainstream drivability. Costing only about 90 cents to fill the tank, if you will, the Nissan EV, when eventually produced, will likely be facing some yet-to-be-determined competition. But this EV Cube shows that Nissan has got a smart plan of attack and could upset the green apple cart as we now know it in a more eco-friendly way. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.